Without the George Floyd protests in 2020, the death of Elijah McClain might not have received another look, which resulted in charges against two, uh, several Aurora police officers and paramedics. Today was the first day of testimony in the trial of two of the officers accused of contributing to McClain's death. Those same protests in 2020 led state lawmakers to pass sweeping police accountability reforms like requiring body cameras on all law enforcement. It also added transparency, the creation of an annual report and public dashboard on the use of force by law enforcement if the force resulted in death or serious injury. That report was supposed to be available July 1st, yet it is still not available. That report will include more than two dozen pieces of information, like the type of use for, uh, force use, which law enforcement members were present by name, whether or not the officer unholstered their gun or fired it, the demographics of the person contacted by law enforcement, when and why they were stopped, and if the officer or deputy resigned while under investigation. A spokeswoman from the state's division of criminal justice said, we don't have any of this yet because of unexpected technology challenges. More than 270 law enforcement agencies had to shift how they collect data to meet the needs of the dashboard. Former Democratic State Representative, current Denver City Councilwoman, Serena Gonzalez Gutierrez, helped get the yet-to-be-released dashboard into law and believes it will act almost as a workplace review for law enforcement. But it's also going to help our law enforcement officers. It's going to help them to be able to reflect and, and perhaps look at different ways um, that they can work with the public and with, work with the community at large. The report is now expected sometime this fall. It will only include incidents since August 2022.